the great grass sea of Karadia. Rolling tundra as far as the eye can see. It seems like right pickings for the empire. Plenty of land to conquer without too much hassle. Plenty of room to settle and create new cities of their own. Yet, as they start to expand eastwards, they ran into some problems. The lack of resources out this far. Legions found it hard to forage for food and the further they pushed, the land wasn't fertile enough for farming. But one factor completely halted the empire's expansion. They ran into the Kuzate Khanate. The Kuzates were wild steppe peoples, horse masters of the ocean of grass, using their mounts to conquer and pillage. But they weren't united. Like many of the initial primitive factions in Karadi, they had been splintered through centuries of skirmish and clan wars. And naturally, the Empire took advantage to this bribing weak Khans, offering wealth to usurp a troubling official, or just a simple payment for a swift death. The steppe tribes hated each other, always fighting for power, so never really cared about the Empire's facade, turning them against one another, since they were already on that path anyway. Much like the Azurai, they took payment to protect caravans across the steppe and even attack opposing ones. Throughout the time, they weren't all that bothered about conquest or gaining more land for themselves. Until him, Urkan the Kuzate. Coming up through his fierce nature, Urkan wanted more. He didn't want to spend his life as an overpaid errand boy for the Empire, and slowly but surely started to unite the tribes, create a confederacy of his own that would run under his banner and his name, the Kuzate. And soon a master fighting force ready to take on even the likes of the Empire themselves. Absent to this knowledge, the Empire got a little complacent, sending in a number of legions to quell what they thought was just another clan war in the tundra, but they were ambushed. Taken by surprise, the heavy armour of the legions did stand, but eventually it was little match for the endless barrage of missiles from the Kuzate horse archers. The lack of Imperial cavalry proved to be imperative to the skirmish cavalry's success, running rings around the terrified infantry, and just as quickly as it happened, the attack had finished, leaving nothing but faint screams of the dying legionaries solidifying the Kuzates and a new Khanate. Years pass under the rule of Urkan. Whilst a strong leader, not even he could get away from the realities of age and he passed away in peace. His descendants still rule the Kuzates to this day, but as you can imagine, after years being under the same leader, many of the tribes that once made that Khanate wanted something different, someone different, to take them into war and decide their future. The Khanate had grown, but perhaps not quite to the size that some dream of, and so tribes came together from all around, putting pressure on the Kuzate family name. Will it last, or will it crumble under the strain and send the tundra back to a warring tribal region? That is for you to decide. Once into the game, you'll realize how much the Kuzate Khanate draw its inspiration from the steppe people of Central Asia. The Kuzates are based partially on the Mongols, but also the Avars, the Gokturks, Kipjaks, and the Khazars, who although didn't have the name of the Mongols, they were a fierce regional power in their own right. As the horse masters, you'll find the Kuzates rely specially on their cavalry. May it be light lancers for scouting and hit and run tactics, skirmish cavalry for frontline harassing, heavy chargers to smash through and break up enemy line, or the famed horse archers that can run rings around enemy soldiers whilst firing from horseback with amazing precision. But this is not where you'll always be residing with your troops. With powerful foot archers called the Khan's Guard, the Kuzates can prove to be some terrible foes on the ground as well, having extremely heavy armor, meaning they can take a hit as well as dish one out with their strong bows. With the addition of having a long hafted spear to deter any enemy cavalry from getting that little bit too close. Additionally, they have the Kuzate Spearmen, who whilst lighter in the defense department, with some of the weaker shields, they can still put up a heavy fight with large sabers and spears built for cutting through flesh and bone. They ruled the grass seas, but now they want to expand, find a new place to settle and new foes to fulfill their bloodlust. But how far will this get them? When is it all just a bit too much? That is for only you to decide, as the Kuzate Khanate.
And boy, that is it for the Kuze Carnate faction lore. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We only have one more faction lore to get through, and that is the Sturgeons, which will be up tomorrow on the 30th of March, just after the release of Mountain Blade 2 Banlon. Boy, I am exhausted. I have made three videos today with no sleep, and... I need to go and die. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I can't wait for the rest of Battle Lord. I'll be releasing so much new content, so make sure you stick around the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Until then, I will see you in the next one.